Alright, so hello everyone and welcome to another fluffy grooming tool tutorial. Today we'll be uh, creating a card based groom. The, the groom you see here is actually a strand based, strand -based one, um, which is great for, uh, for console games and PC games. Um, it also works on mobile, but you'll have to decrease the strand count a bit. Um, but today we'll create a car based groom. Um, car based rendering has pretty much been the, the standard way of, of rendering for for many years and it's still used in a lot of AAA games. So it's not gonna go away anytime soon. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started, I guess. Um, so first things first, let's remove the room we already have so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the renderer and um, then we see here in the fluffy groom tool window that we can choose our preset so I'm gonna choose the cutout card preset um, yeah so as you can see we end up with a pretty wild groom I guess um, first thing I usually do is I go down here to the furrender and save the material to disk just so it's uh, it's an asset it's no longer just in memory and then we can start uh, grooming our little little guy here so um, the first thing I usually do is to uh, delete the fur that I don't want um, and as you can see here it's it's a bit hard to hit all the the cards so in this case I'm gonna select ignore normal slope and now it's much easier to hit all the, the cards um, and then I'm gonna uncheck that again and show the cards So what that does is pretty much um, when this is selected, it's um, not gonna care how the the normal slope of the the surface is. So it's it's sort of like a, a sphere cast, which is uh, just just hits everything uh, close to to the mouse. But when it's off, it's only going to paint um, the areas uh, that has the same normal as the clicked area. So, so now it's not, it's not painting inside of the mouth, which is what I want. So that's good. All right. Um, this still looks pretty crappy though. So when using car based rendering uh, it's often a good idea to to use the same material uh, type as you're using for the cards uh, for the background mesh as well so you don't see the uh, transition between the background and the cards that much so I just duplicated the material here and then I'm dragging it onto uh, the little dude that made it freak out because it's a cutout, cutout material. Um, but if I select the material and then set the cutout to nothing, then we can remove um, the alpha texture and also the normal map. So now, now we don't see the transition that much. Um, I'm also go ahead and turn down the specular intensity a bit, and also remove the uh, backlighting since it's uh, the surface. Now this the transition here between the cards and the background is way better see that I've forgotten a few cards here. Alright, so 
we're set up um, um, what, I, what I usually start off by doing is I select the rotate root brush and then start orienting the cards in the direction that I want this is it's a good idea to, to do this um, to begin with just to get everything oriented uh, correctly so what that does it's it pretty much uh, the face uh, changes the facing direction of the, the card Right. Um, and then if we uh, scroll down to the layer properties, we can uh, use the randomize rotation slider here to sort of randomize the rotation of the cards. I usually tend to rotate just a little bit so that you, you can look at it from the sides without sort of Seeing, uh, seeing the sides of, of the cards. That's the basics, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust the length of it. So it's a bit, a bit long in the face. And also adjust the width. Ask out some more, and then maybe make it a bit longer on top here um, to, to change the size of the brush you have to hold command on Mac or control on Windows and then left click and slide the mouse button you can also use these uh, sliders down here um, yeah so I guess that's pretty much it um, and then maybe we can tune the width of the cards a bit and also the length. Um, you can also use the randomize height um, slider here to randomize the height of the cards. Alright, so we, we got the basic set up and then I guess it's time to start bending the cards I'm gonna select the ignore normal slope so that so that it just it's easier to hit stuff Right, so uh, right now it it looks sort of like an old school mobile game in my opinion. It's it doesn't look very good, and that's pretty much just the nature of using a cutout shader. If you zoom in, it's decent enough, but like when I zoom out, it it starts looking very blocky and it's not so pretty. So there are some things we can do about this and that's actually using the, the transparent rendering technique that's that's also a preset when you want to add uh, add fur uh, but we use the car presets so that's not what we're using now but we can switch over to that so um, yeah just down here um, at our material which is used for for the fur you can switch that one over to to a transparent shader and that looked uh, not that didn't look the way I wanted to so 
that's because the shadows are way too intense so you can use the alpha clip alpha clipping on the shadows just to give it a sort of a softer look but now there's a problem uh, if you look at it like this you see that it's, there's something wrong here it's, it's glowing uh, and it seems like the the triangles aren't really sorted uh, like they're supposed to and that's just uh, the way like transparent rendering works on on all game engine engines basically is that it uh, it's not alpha sorted so uh, <laughs> that's why it's difficult to use transparent materials um, for these type of things but luckily we have uh, something that solves that um, and fluffy if you go here under lod and culling you can select alpha sorting so now uh, you see that it's alpha sorting the triangles so it works the way um, it looks correct um, however if I for instance change something on this slider it's gonna pop back and not look correct again and that's because um, it's now alpha sorting off of my main camera because that's the um, that's the one that is used here you can also drag it in here just to make it clear that it's using this camera to alpha sort the triangles um, however if I select the character in the scene view then it's going to use the scene camera to, to to sort the tri triangles sort of <laughs> um, so that's pretty much just how that works um, yeah and then you can start playing around by with changing the alpha texture for instance to do something like this now it sort of uh, looks like a like an afro kind of texture um, like a lot more curly than it used to um, I think we should increase the alpha clipping of the material a bit just to give it a softer look so yeah I guess this in my opinion this looks a bit better than the cutout, cutout version because it's um, it just looks way softer around the edges and sort of gives that wooly wooly look <laughs> um, yeah and then maybe you should tune down the specular intensity a bit so it's a bit much all right so I guess that's it um, you, normally, of course, I'd tweak this a lot more and you know, change, try to make it look better, but it's pretty basic and it get a really soft, kind of furry, furry look, so I'm pretty happy with this. Um, one thing to keep in mind though is that by using the alpha sorting uh, thing, it, that might increase uh, decrease the performance a bit since it it has to sort all the tri triangles of the mesh which can be an expensive operation so whenever you use this option try to keep the polygon count down um, yeah so in order to to have a low polygon count you can uh, increase the spacing between the hair cards or you can also uh, decrease the subdivision count so right now it's set to 3 which is fine in most cases but you can also set it to down to 1 now it's just gonna be a, a flat card without any subdivision so that's gonna decrease the uh, polygon count um, 
In this case, it actually didn't change the appearance too much, uh, but it can in, in some cases. So I usually keep it around three or something. All right, so thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope I didn't uh, bore you with uh, my Norwegian accent. Um, if not, come back for uh, more tutorials that are coming up later on. Um, yeah, so thanks for uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>